What's up guys, how to survive here. It feels like it's been forever since I actually did a video on this channel. And this isn't going to be a normal video, this is just going to be kind of like a vlog here in my room. Um, getting, actually getting some stuff ready for my trip to Boundary Waters. We're going to be having with my Boy Scout troop. I've got some of my junk packed up in my bag there and some of the stuff is gonna go with me too this is gonna go this goes this goes knife goes of course this knife goes I'm gonna do a review and overview of that knife my sharpening my ceramic sharpening stone got fishing line and stuff in there all sorts of good all sorts of goodies that will go in my bag here and here's some of the main stuff that I'll be using. I've got a first aid kit that I made. Sorry if that flipped. I got a first aid kit that I made. A thing of matches with a striker on the inside of the lid. Um, I've got duct tape. These are nitrile coated gloves. Um, garbage bags. I've got... These are little towels that expand when you put them in water. Apparently people use those as toilet paper when they're at Boundary Waters because they don't take up the space of toilet paper, so I'm going to try it. Um, I have a emergency blanket, space blanket, um, compass, and in here also is some aluminum foil. For cooking and falling up as a cleaning tool and whatnot, um, in here I've got this Ozark Trail folding saw which you push down on this, it's the lock. And then you have to push up on the blade, one second. Then you have to push up on the blade to get it to come out. Then you can take, pull it open until it locks. It's a decent sized saw. It's bigger than the last one I had, um, which was some off-brand saw. But I got this one. Um, I'm willing to give it a try. Should be good. I haven't tried it too much. I tried it a little bit and it worked pretty good. Um, also in here I've got a retractable like campfire cooking fork so I can cook fish and stuff that I catch up there. I've got um, emergency fire starting stuff. I've got that, and there's fat wood on this side. Um, I've got these, which are mosquito bands, repe mosquito repelling bands, which I don't know if they work or not. I don't believe most of that stuff actually works as well as they advertise it, but I'm willing to try it. <laughs> In here, I have a bunch of my may need to access it fast stuff. I've got an uh, extra flashlight. That's the one I'm going to be using most of the time, but I have an extra one. I've got little wet fire tablets in here as another worst case scenario. Sewing kit, Bear Grylls fire steel, and magnesium fire starting rod, um, emergency whistle. I've got uh, that right there is one of those chain, uh, not chain, but the pocket saws, which I kind of like. It. I'm obviously going to use the other one, the other, the Ozark Trail saw, but I've got that just in case I need it. And I've got twine. These are um, some kind of natural twine, and this one is a treated natural twine. I've got black paracord right here. You can't really see it, but it's there. And then I've got an emergency, um, this is a five minute smoke that they had on sale at a fireworks store when we went fireworks shopping for the 4th of July. And I figured, you know, pick a couple of them up. I've got this one, and I know they work. I tried one of them to make sure if I needed them that I wouldn't just be stranded out in the woods because my smoker need wouldn't go off. 
And then I've got this bag, which is going to have my food and my clothes in the side. I have another one of these and a big thing of 550 cord and then another emergency blanket. It's always better to have two. One is none, two is one, and three is just enough. And I only have two of those space blankets, so yeah. I've got this lantern, which has three modes. It's got light mode, then it's got nightlight mode, and then flickers. And this is um, a radio with a light on it. It's got, and this goes up and down so you can use it as a flashlight or as a lantern, which is kind of cool. Then it's got the tuner, the AM, FM, and the volume. And it works. It's not great speaker quality, but it's good to have a radio, mostly for weather stuff, which you're supposedly don't get signal at Boundary Waters anyway, which I believe, but... And then I've got more of those towels, which I should only need like one or two for every day, but I've got 23 of them in case somebody else needs them or in case I need them for something else. But yeah, just getting some packing done. I'm expecting to get some freeze dried food and a dry bag for my clothing on the 12th. And today is the 8th of July, so it shouldn't be long before I can finish packing and show you guys the rest of my stuff that I'm bringing. Um, I'm gonna, I don't think I'm gonna bring this bag, my Boy Scout bag, just because I won't need it. I'm gonna have my first aid merit badge book. I've completed this merit badge already, and I have most of it, I have all of this book memorized. But I'm going to bring it anyway. And cooking I have to complete. Backpacking. I'm going to figure out what I can do at Boundary Waters to get some of the requirements there. Hiking. We might do a hike, I guess. I don't know. That's not it. Environmental science I'm going to complete. I just have to do some um, observations of nature and such. And write down the notes on it. I can't find it now, but I had the Wilderness Survival Merit Badge book somewhere here too, but I can't find it. But I suppose that's not a huge loss. I'll find it eventually. It's probably underneath some of my junk. But um, And I'm gonna bring this book, Tom Clancy Patriot Games, because I don't read ever, and I probably should. And if I get bored or at night, I'll have something to do. And this video has already ended up longer than I wanted it to, but I suppose that's how it goes. And then in here, I have um, knife sharpener, whistle, light, stuff like that on one tool. And then I have a um, emergency ferro rod, a pencil sharpener, and the Bear Grylls priorities of survival, uh, how to like guide. But um, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna try as hard as I can, as reasonably can, to get more videos out because I feel really trashy for not uploading videos as much as I used to or wanted to so yeah I just yeah I'm gonna try and upload more and hopefully I'll get some good videos at Boundary Waters and some videos of me training and practicing for Boundary Waters so I suppose I'll let you guys go and I'll see you next time <laughs>